When choosing a phone, the first hurdle to go over is the budget. Or as the sales guy would say, the answer to this dictates a lot. As from that price category, you get a range of devices to choose from, then start going into details for best value for money. In our hands, we have a budget of 23,000 Kenya shillings, but to fit 25,000. So what can this give us? It's been a while since we did a comparison video of devices from different brand manufacturers. So I'm super excited about this one. Today, we'll have a comparison video that pits the latest entry device, which is the Tecno Camo 19, against the Oppo A57 and the Samsung Galaxy A23. They're in the same price category. So where will the Tecno thrive and where will it struggle? I'm Martin Gidenji. Let's take it and go. There are many pointers to consider as far as tastes and preferences is concerned to inform your choice. So let's break this and all future comparisons into the factors to consider, at least eight of them. Number one, design. If how your phone looks like to you is important, which to many people it is, ladies, <clears throat> then this is what you're looking at. A boxy matte twin camera design on the Tecno Carbon 19. A similar feeling Oppo A57 with a matte finish but with a rectangular camera island. And a shiny glossy fingerprint attracting Samsung Galaxy A23 with a sliding rectangular camera island. Camo 19 features a stunning design of 2 billion shining diamonds back cover that sets its design apart from the other phones. The Oppo A57 comes close compared to the A23, but the Camo 19 runs away with it as the diamond-like coating of 200 million crystals provides a premium texture and of course, being matte, avoids fingerprint smudges. A point goes to Tecno as they have used a design that is employed on their higher segmented Camo 19 Pro so you get a premium look and feel at a budget. If weight is important to you, the Oppo is the lighter one at 187 grams, Samsung at 195 and Tecno at 198. The Camo 19 comes in three colors including Eco Black, Sea Salt White and Digital Green. A57 comes in glowing black and glowing green colors, while the Samsung Galaxy A23 comes in light blue, black and white. A point to emphasize would be that as far as design goes, yes, we appreciate the work that goes into a product, yes, but it all boils down to tastes and preferences. You like what you like, for whatever reason, you like it. But I will be unfair to Tecno if I don't point out that the Tecno Camo 19 series did scoop some awards, including the IF Design Awards 2022 in the product and telecommunications category for its product design, and the Muse Design Awards for product design, silver awards for its exceptional craftsmanship. So it's sort of a no-brainer who carries this category. Number two, camera. The Tecno Camo 19 ships with a 64 megapixels bright night camera aimed for better low light photography. The lens is the world's first RGB plus W lens with the white pixel accepting any wavelength of light to increase the sensitivity and brightness of the sensor. It's accompanied by a 2 megapixels depth sensor and a 2 megapixels AI camera. Samsung Galaxy A23 rocks a 50 megapixels main camera with OIS and a 5 megapixels ultra wide camera, 2 megapixels macro and 2 megapixels depth sensor. Oppo A57 has a dual setup that includes a 13 megapixels main and 2 megapixels depth. For selfies, the Camo 19 has a 16 megapixels front facing camera housed in a center punch hole, while the A23 and A57 both have 8 megapixels cameras hosted in a water drop notch. So far, if the numbers are anything to go by, the Camo 19 packs heavy already, with the lack of OIS not holding it back. We took them out for a shootout to see how well they performed in real life. In terms of selfies, they both take nice shots. Samsung opts for a natural, flatter look, while Oppo and Tecno bump up saturation a little bit. Selfies pop out more on the Camo 19. This also works out for portraits too. However, Samsung and Oppo do a better job with background blur, as you can still see the background objects with this mode on the Camo 19. Samsung also does well with dynamic range for its portraits. The other two rivals overexpose their backgrounds. All three are nice shooters when it comes to regular photos. After taking multiple shots with the three, the Camo 19 comes out on top as it balances out on the key components. 
Detailed photos, great contrast, and good dynamic range. They are more colorful with presentable saturation and the same color profile for its photos, trickles down to low light shots. Testing out Techno's AI scene recognition was an amusing and interesting experience. The training dataset has over 1 million photos, increasing the recognition accuracy. Video recording is capped at 2K for the Camo 19, while the A57 and A23 record at 1080p 30fps. Another win for the Techno. As a camera-centric Camon series phone, I would not expect anything less in the camera department. But wait till we get to the low light and nighttime shots as this is where the differences continue presenting themselves. Compared to the others, the Camon 19 took better nighttime photos and selfies too. The A23 comes in at a close second while the Oppo A57 suffers a lot. The 16 megapixels front-facing camera on the Camo 19 uses 4-in-1 technology to make photos more bright in low-light environment. Selfie portraits still suffer from the background separation, just like daytime portraits, which is something that Techno can work on. Samsung carries the day there. Regular photos turned out really well with the Camo 19 in low-light scenarios, as you'll see below. The A23 comes close and the A57 struggles even with night mode enabled. Overall, the Camo 19 takes the crown when it comes to photography in both ideal and in challenging situations. Number 3. Display Coming to the front, the Camo 19 has a 6.78 inch LCD screen, Full HD plus resolution at 1080 by 2460 pixels with 395 ppi density. Oppo A57 has a 6.56-inch 720p screen with 269 ppi, while the Samsung A23 has a 6.6-inch LCD screen with 1080p by 2408 pixels resolution at 400 ppi. Techno Camo 19 boasts of having the slimmest bezels at 0.98 mm. Oppo opts for a brighter profile, while Samsung and Techno have more contrast Samsung wins as it has slightly more pixel density and the 90Hz refresh rate gives it an upper hand over the rest. FYI, higher refresh rate means buttery smooth scrolling and fast animations, especially when gaming. Number 4. Performance Camo 19 has a MediaTek Helio G85 processor paired with Mali G52 GPU, maxing out at 6GB of RAM, expandable by 3GB of virtual RAM from the storage, which maxes out at 128GB. Samsung Galaxy A23 has a Snapdragon 680 chipset paired with Adreno 610 GPU, maxing out at 8GB of RAM, expandable by 4GB of virtual RAM, and maxing out at 128GB of onboard storage. Oppo A57 ships with Helio G35 chipset paired with PowerVR GE8320 and maxes out at 8GB of RAM and extra 4GB virtual RAM and 128GB of onboard storage. All of them have dedicated memory card slots. Both Camo 19 and Galaxy A23 are steady performers when it comes to multitasking and gaming. Oppo A57 has a less powerful processor and struggles when you heavily tax it. The A23 has a nicer interface and the 90Hz refresh rate makes using the phone more enjoyable and the smoothness makes it feel like it's the better performer. Number 5. Software All phones ship with Android 12 with the high OS 8.6 on the Techno, One UI 4.1 on the Samsung, and the Color OS 12 for the Oppo. All of them are scheduled for Android 13 update when it launches later this year. Number 6. Warranty A disappointing thing to happen would be to buy a phone and then it starts getting issues in a month or two or even five after patches. This is where warranty on patches at an authorized store comes in handy. Techno offers 13 months of extended warranty and provides free service during this period for failures caused by product quality. Then there is also 13 months for basic warranty service and 90 days broken screen protection and VIP service. Samsung, on the other hand, offers 24 months warranty, yes, but the details are not clear on what is covered on the warranty in their website. They need to clear that up, as also no warranty card is included in the box. Oppo, on the other hand, we have no information whatsoever about their warranty, so Oppo, you need to check on that, okay? Number seven, battery. 5,000 mAh batteries for all three, 
Type-C charging ports and also support for fast charging with 18 watts for the Tecno, 25 watts for the Samsung, and 33 watts for the Oppo. The Oppo takes this one on the speed of charging with one hour to 90% from zero and one hour and 28 minutes for the A23 and one hour 43 minutes for the Camon 19. Number eight, price. We say it last, but it was the first point to consider, of course. The Tecno Camo 19 goes for 23,499. Samsung Galaxy A23 goes for 22,499. And the Oppo A57 goes for 22,300. You can get the three at any of the company's respective retail stores and also on e-commerce sites like Jumia. By now, you should have made your choice depending on your needs, your tastes, and your preferences. The Camo 19 takes the cake when it comes to photography, while the A23 Samsung redeems itself with performance. The Oppo A57 comes a close third, but there might be other things that are more important to you, like probably it's fast charging that you want, where this one wins. Till the next one, we done take it. Now you go.